one of the greatest rivers in the world. The Mississippi is America's river. From the headwaters, which is Minnesota, cuts across the whole country. We're real fortunate in Minnesota to host it in this state. We are in the only gorge on the entire length of the Mississippi River, below the only waterfall on the entire Mississippi River. Because of its many historic sites and spectacular scenery, this stretch of the Mississippi River was designated a national park in 1988. The national park encompasses a 72-mile stretch of the upper Mississippi. From its confluence with the Crow River in the north to south of Hastings, Minnesota, the Mississippi is a river full of life that we're part of. You need to experience the river. You need to explore the river and enjoy the river. Get out in canoes, hike along the river, and then I think it becomes part of you. You can begin to see the magic of it and why we should care for this river. It is one of the most important rivers in the, in the world and incredible diversity of natural resources all in one area right through the Twin Cities. This is a partnership park, and it's a park composed of many local places, many local parks, each of which has a significant story to tell. And that's the beauty of this park. There's this vision that you have to go north to experience the outdoors and experience wildlife. People need to learn more about what's just outside their front door. This is a different kind of national park a constellation of natural places and urban spaces knit together by America's greatest river. It's no surprise that cities grew up here because this was a special landscape that offered many things to the, the folks that settled here. They were now able at St. Anthony Falls to produce flour of the highest quality the world had ever seen in quantities the world had never seen. These are stories that connect to people's uh, lives around the world, and they happened right here. Great rivers shape landscapes and natural environments, but they also shape people and national identity, and that's what the Mississippi River does. And in this park, you can see it. You can see the river's value to wildlife and birds. You can see great cities that grew up because of the river, and you can find places that, that influence national history. So here's where the Mississippi, I think, begins to show the meaning of its name, which is Great River. The face of the river in time became a wonderful book, which told its mind to me without reserve, delivering its most cherished secrets as if it had uttered them with a voice. And it was not a book to be read once and thrown aside, for it had a new story to tell every day. Mark Twain life on the Mississippi.